Hey guys, I'm AJ here with Practical Performance Training. I've got the man, Frank Proctor. We're uh, shooting his carbine and pistol course down here at Ben Avery. So Frank, that I've got you here now, uh, let's talk about performance shooting. And, you know, a lot of guys have heard performance shooting or performance training. Uh, what does that mean for the guys that might say, you know, oh, that's that's the gamer stuff, that's the competition shooting style. How, how does that apply to our tactical shooters and stuff like that? The way I believe in it, in my soul there, is performance shooting kind of applies to whatever we're going to do with the guns. We want to win, regardless of arena we're in. Whether competitive shooting or combat shooting, and the things we can take away from just the pure performance shooting apply. Nice, nice. Now, do you get a lot of guys coming through your classes where they they think they're coming in for that tactical guru gun food class and then are more surprised at... You're not doing tons of, you know, reloads and draws and tack reloads, stuff like that. Yeah, um, well, I don't really um, get as much that anymore. Um, I don't really do any scenario based off. I just focus on the, the performance shooting and say how, how to put bullets on targets fast. Um, and then all the things that support that. We'll get into it when we've got a little more time, a couple days in the class or something we'll do. We'll get into the mechanics of, uh, you know, reloads and stuff like that to support the process and keep the gun there. But... Um, Seeing faster and being more efficient with mechanics, those things translate to, to whatever arena you're in. Every now and then I do get the, uh, you know, people think that what I do is purely competitive shooting. It's not. It's not even competitive shooting. It's not combat shooting. It's performance shooting. Uh, the skill sets that it takes to, to win, it, well, in the performance shooting, the, the, the skill sets that we cover will help you win in either arena. You know, whether that's speed of vision, seeing the things you need to see, seeing more stuff so that you can make decisions in the combat shooting side of the house. Uh, any kind of shooting, you have to see what you're going to shoot first. Okay? In combat shooting, you've got you to see it and make decisions. And after that, the things we do in, in competitor shooting or the performance shooting we start applying to the combat shooting too. When it's time to put bullets on targets, the same stuff matters. Absolutely, man. Um, we get a lot of guys come in, you know, and they're, they're, they want to shoot fast, you know. Uh, if I press my trigger really hard, well, we've talked the last couple days a lot about, you know, the vision quest, seeing seeing the gun, seeing the sights. Uh, for the guys that are kind of, I don't want to say stuck in the tactical world, but uh, maybe they hang around that, you know, that IDPA crowd, and hang around the tactical training uh, world. If there's one thing uh, they could take away. I know for me it would be, you know, the vision, the vision part of shooting. Uh, what specifically to you do you think they could take away? Man, that's a big deal. Um, vision's everything. You know, if we want to go places with our shooting and become a better, more efficient shooter, we got to see everything. And you know, we got to start letting you know, the information come in and let the subconscious mind start processing you know, and making the shooting happen for us. Um, yeah, it's a huge deal. Um, you see the whole the speed thing. You don't have to be fast to win. And you don't have to be fast to be fast. Um, put a lot of push into watch your speed. All right. Trigger, we talked about scoring speed yesterday, and we're going to get into it today. Trigger speed and scoring speed aren't always the same. Um, I don't think it's necessary to really run triggers fast to score points fast. In either arena, combat or competition, if we're scoring points about every quarter of a second, we're in a good place in life. You know, um, And that's not fast. It can ultimately end up, well, it's not fast in regards to how fast some people can actually move their triggers. But in the practical application thing, if we're continuously scoring points about every quarter of a second, we're in a good place in line versus running triggers fast for a couple shots and taking a long time before we score again. Right. That's kind of slowing us down in any arena. And on the on the combat shooting side of the house, not really an application to just park sights and run triggers as fast as you can. Things kind of keep changing a little Absolutely. bit. So if we're able to keep moving eyes and sights and keep scoring points, every quarter of a second or so, we're in a pretty good place in life. Awesome. For either arena. One thing that every shooter out there, what would you want them to grasp from one of your courses or something you've put out there? <laughs> you go that big thing is the seeing stuff. Um, being comfortable when you shoot, when it's time to perform. How you train, how we train, that's a big deal too. Uh, we talk drills and exercises. Mm -hmm. Have a goal in life when you train try to reach that goal realistically <laughs> versus what we'll do sometimes with drills is that, you know, hey, I want to, we used El Prez earlier, that's something sure. everybody knows, right? I want to shoot an El Prez in four seconds and shoot all alphas. But if you go out there 4,000 times in a row, you just do it at that pace and finally get it right. We didn't train yourself to do it. 
you train yourself to fail, you go like wide open as fast as you can move, you fail, you fail, you fail, you fail, but eventually you get it right. You go into it like, hey, I want to end up at that speed, let me find out where I'm comfortable, find out being local about what's going on as you're training, be outside of yourself as a shooter, what can I do to get to where, this is where I'm at, what can I do to get to where I'm at? That's going to end up being a huge thing, is quickly am I moving over to the next thing I need to do, or how quickly am I connecting to the gun and seeing what I need to see. And we'll see those things. We're going to end up scoring those points. We start detuning the gun, especially in the case of the pistol, it's going to be hard to score points. For sure. For sure. Cool, man. Thanks yeah. for taking the time right. talking Pleasure. to us. Guys, if you want to check out Frank's company and uh, his classes, it's www.wayofthegun.us. There's tons of great footage out there. There's tons of great articles out there. Check it out. Uh, if you can, get into a class with Frank. I highly, highly, highly encourage you to do that. Uh, the more days, the better, for sure. All right? Uh, check us out at practicalperformancetraining.com, and we will see you guys next time. Thanks again. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it, man. Let's shoot.